Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. Well, it's the 1st of July. Start of a new financial year, start of a brand new month. So today I thought I'd introduce you to two of my most valuable kitchen tools and they weren't very expensive. It's time to put the um, July meal pan on the fridge. It goes on a whiteboard. Now I meal plan a year in advance for a few reasons, but the main one is that my meal plan goes into the newsletter every week. Now, if you don't get my newsletter, there is a link in the description box below me. Just follow it, enter your details, and don't forget to confirm that you want to receive it. Now, the newsletter goes out every Thursday morning around 11 a.m. The other reason is that I shop a year in advance. So it works for me to plan a full 12 months worth of meals and then shop for 12 months worth of meals. But putting a full 12 months of meal plans on the fridge is too complicated and it takes up a lot of space and everyone gets frazzled and I don't really like, like it on my fridge. But doing a month at a time, it's really easy and it works well because everyone can see at a glance what's on the menu each night. Hannah's down today and she's already checked out what's going to be on for her birthday. It also helps me because I can check the fridge and I'll show you in just a moment what it looks like and see what I need to get out of the freezer so that um, if it needs to be prepped ahead of time or thawed, it can be done. I really enjoy having freezer meals or meals that are ready to cook in the freezer. They just need to be thawed and heated or thawed and cooked. It saves so much time and it really does save you money too. Now on our fridge, we have two magnetic whiteboards. One is a calendar and one is in a meal planning layout. Now they both came from Kmart. And they weren't cheap, but they weren't like expensive either. Hannah just said, yeah, they were under $10. They were $6 each when we bought them 18 months ago. We got them um, when we did the new kitchen. I've loved them ever since. Now, I know you have seen them in videos before, and I've talked about them before, and some of you have even ordered them and got them. They are such handy tools to have in your kitchen. So I thought I'd tell you how I use them today. I know you were hoping for a cooking segment and maybe we'll get one later on. But I really wanted to show you how I meal plan and get it onto the calendar for the start of each month. Now, on the calendar version, I write the dates. Let me get it off for you and I'll show you. Now, I write the dates. And I started today's Friday the 1st, I don't know if you can see that, and all the way through. Doing the meal plan for me is really easy because we have some things that are just always on. Tuesday is always pasta, Thursday is always pizza, and Sunday is always a roast of some kind. And I just rotate through chicken, beef, chicken, lamb, chicken, beef, chicken, lamb. So that leaves only four days that need to be filled in for the week. Really easy to do. Now, when I'm doing the meal plan for the year, knowing that, you know, three main meals for each week are sorted, makes choosing the rest so simple and really takes the pressure off. And because I'm an ingredient shopper, the options are almost unlimited because I always have ingredients that I can twist and swap around. You know, having ingredients in the pantry, 
means that even though tonight we've got meatballs and noodles in cream sauce on the meal plan, if it gets later in the afternoon and I go, I don't feel like meatballs and noodles, but let's have meatloaf, the ingredients are almost the same. I can make meatloaf or I can do rissoles or I could turn it into tacos or um, meat pie. The ingredients are the same. It works really well. Now, the other whiteboard is handy too. It's also magnetic, sits on the fridge. It's actually called weekly menu. Now, we don't use it as our meal plan menu because it's only for a week. This I use as a meal inventory, and I'll show you that in a moment too. And one other thing that I've just started doing, and I feel so silly that I've never done this before or never thought of it before, is to get the main ingredients needed for the month off my meal plan and transfer them from the big freezer into the little freezer over the fridge. So I'm only going to one place to get what we need for the month. I'm not going outside. I'm not going to the laundry. I'm not scrabbling through freezers. Yes, I know. It's taken me how many years to figure that one out? Long. Anyway, the little freezer over the fridge is plenty big enough to hold the meat and the veggies or the soups or whatever, the freezer meals for the month. And having everything in one place, in one spot, is so handy. And it really doesn't take hardly any time to get everything out and just transfer it across. Doing it in, um, at the beginning of the month is so much more efficient, though, because it's one trip to the outside freezer, one trip to the laundry freezer and into the little freezer. I'm all for efficiency and saving money, time and energy, as you know. When I do the meal plan onto this little whiteboard, I write up how much of each frozen ingredient is in the little freezer and then I look and see what needs to be used up in the fridge, what's in the veggie crispers and I've started planning for lunches for each day because if lunches are planned, the boys who are still working from home aren't tempted to order something and while they pay for it, it absolutely costs a fortune. Um, and I'd rather save their, I'd rather they save their money. So I do lunches and I keep a running shopping list. As we use something up and it needs to be replaced, it goes onto the whiteboard. Then I can just take a photo of it before I go shopping. I finally learned how to do that on my phone. And off I go. Okay. I'm just checking my notes so that I haven't missed anything for you. Yes, shopping list. Yeah, I only started doing the freezer ingredients um, during the one month pantry test and it did work beautifully and I have kept it going and it is still working so I will keep it going. Um, having a written meal plan um, and a written shopping list, and we all know that we should have a written shopping list, is going to save you a lot of time and potentially a lot of money including the fridge inventory and the lunch menu increases the value of these kitchen tools best of all it means nothing is wasted or forgotten to languish at the back of the fridge or buried in the freezer we use it all up because it's right there in front of us now, I like to save money, and I like to save time, and I like to save energy. Having the meal plan whiteboards on the fridge, two or three, and they do them with pretty much minimal input from me. If I wasn't doing this video, the meal plan would be on the calendar, and the inventories will be done in under... Oh, five minutes which is not bad for a month's worth of planning and planning ahead now if you don't meal plan give it a try 
You don't need a whiteboard. You don't need a whiteboard on the fridge. You don't need anything fancy. You just need something to put your plan on that you can find all the time when you need it. If you can hear a noise in the background, it's Lacey Dog. She's and Hannah just said a $2 calendar from Cheap Shops would work too if you meal plan it. It would. And I can talk more about that in a minute. Um, simply because a $2 calendar means you have a written record for an entire year. Now, I keep my meal plans. I've got them archived way back to 2002 or something, 2002 or something ridiculous. Um it's, it's nice to look back at them and go, oh, we haven't had that for a while. Yes, we've got whatever it takes and I can slot them in. Now, I'm just going to turn you around very slowly. So if you get seasick or anything, oh my gosh, I just saw the light. I apologise for the shadows, guys. I don't know what's wrong with the lights in here today. Anyway, I'm just going to swivel you around and I'll show you what the whiteboards look like on the fridge. So if you get dizzy, close your eyes in just a second. I'll put this one back up where it lives. And I'll pick you up very slowly and very carefully. Bear with me and show you what it looks like. Don't want to spill my water. Okay, here we go. This is the monthly meal plan. I'll move you out a bit so you can see it. And I'm a bit crooked. There we go. Is that better for you? Um, I've written on it. I've filled it out. Everyone knows they can come and look at it and see what's on the meal plan for tea. I've got July up there, the dates, and then you can see... Every Tuesday is pasta. Every Thursday is pizza. Sundays are roasts. And because it's a whiteboard, at the end of the month when I'm putting up the new one, I just rub it out and put the new one up there. Now, this is the weekly menu. Um, there we go. That's a bit better. The light's glaring on it. Sorry about that. That's better. You can see I've done our lunches. Monday we're having Rubens or Toasties. Tom doesn't like Rubens. Tuesday's sausage rolls. Wednesday's Toasties. Thursday is sandwiches. Friday's hot dogs. Weekend we've got pies and Toasties. Over here, this is the bit you're probably really interested in. This is what's in the freezer. I've got five lots of fish, 14 lots of mints, chicken fillets, pasta sauce by two, ravioli by two, chicken wings by two, uh, haystack mix, soup. So everything pretty much that's on the meal plan or that we need for our lunches is there and it's all stacked in this little freezer. And down underneath it, I've got what needs to be used up. So we've got potatoes, carrots, onions, celery, pumpkin, sweet potato, capsicum, broccoli, cabbage. They're all the things in the crispers that needs to be used up. That's my meal planning system. I've been, well, I've been yearly meal planning for a long time. I'm going to swivel you around again. Sorry, guys. Get a big look at my face just like you need to. Okay, I've been meal planning for a year for a long time. I used to print it out and stick it up there on paper. It was messy, it would fall apart. I couldn't make changes to it easily. With the whiteboard, I grab the pen with the eraser on the end and rub it out and it's fine. Now, you know, if you've got a whiteboard and it doesn't rub out easily, if you huff on it, you know, you go, pretend my hands are the whiteboard, you go, and then quickly rub over it, it comes off. Or if you've got a perfume that you really don't like, spritz it with the perfume and the alcohol in the perfume will take it off for you. Um, you know, sometimes whiteboard markers, they get a bit um, stale or you've left it on there too long and they don't want to clean. Those are two methods that are really easy to clean your whiteboard with. 
So that's July's meal plan for us. Again, it will be in the newsletter every week. I do put a week's worth of meals in the newsletter. If you're not subscribed, the link is down there. If you don't meal plan, you should. It will save you money, it will save you time, and it will save you energy. It will save a lot of stress too, and it will save a lot of waste, and it will save you answering a thousand times a day, what's for dinner? Pizza. What's for dinner? Rissoles. What's for dinner? Fish. It's on the board. And people, even little kids that can read, get in the habit of looking at the meal plan on the fridge. So... Before I go, thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click the subscribe button below me and then click the bell next to it and select how often you would like to be notified of when we upload a video or when we go live. We do lives every Tuesday night, 7.30 p.m. AET. Now, subscribing to our channel helps YouTube but more importantly, it helps our channel to be more easily found. And the easier it is for people to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is perfectly okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. And it is absolutely doable even in 2022. And the other reason you should subscribe to our channel is we have a Sunbeam Food Lab dehydrator to give away. As soon as we hit 5,000 subscribers, we are doing a draw of all our subscribers and one lucky subscriber will win that dehydrator. Now, if you aren't in Australia, don't panic. We have that covered too. If you're not in Australia, we have a, an Amazon gift card to the same value that will be available for you. Right. Have a great weekend, everyone, and happy cheapskating. Don't forget to meal plan.